I committed to directing Catch Me If You Can not because of the divorce component, but principally because Frank Abagnale did things that were the most astonishing scams I had ever heard. Steven Spielberg. Here are 25 tourist scams you should watch out for this summer. 25. The Rose Scam. Whether you'd call it a scam or not, just know that in Europe, it's likely that someone will approach you and your partner with roses for sale. Why? Because rejecting a rose while you're with your partner is kind of hard. Or at least that's what the peddlers think. But don't feel bad. It's okay to reject it on principle and then buy them a rose from someone who's not trying to use shady marketing techniques. 24. The Room Inspection Crew While in Spain, be careful if two men in official uniform show up at your hotel door claiming they need to inspect your room. One will most likely try to distract you while the other goes for your things. 23. The Petition for Charity While walking through Paris, be careful if someone comes up to you claiming to be mute or deaf and asking you to sign a petition. Their hands have a knack for ending up in your pockets while you are busy with your signature. 22. The Peanut Payday If you are ever in Rio de Janeiro and somebody walks up to you and pours some peanuts on your table while insisting you eat them, just remember, they're not free. They will leave you to go pour peanuts on other tables. If you've eaten the nuts by the time they get back, they'll be expecting payment. 21. The Busted Camera Be careful if someone asks you to take a picture of them and the camera doesn't work. Sometimes, when you are trying to return it to them, they will fumble it and let it fall. And guess who they're going to demand compensation from? 20. The Helpful Pickpocket Common in Europe, someone will pretend to advise you of pickpockets in the area. Their accomplice will be watching you to see where your wallet is when you check to make sure you still have it. And you can guess the rest. 19. The Map Vendor Another common in Europe, be wary if anybody approaches you trying to sell you a map. Sometimes they will unfold it in front of your face in order to cover up their sticky fingers pilfering your pockets. 18. The Fake Police Officer Be careful in Latin America and Southeast Asia if a police officer offers to inspect your money because fraudulent cash has been in circulation. When they hand you back your wallet, you'll notice that some of your money is missing. 17. The Distracted Cashier Popular in Barcelona, if you ever walk into a shop and the cashier seems distracted on the phone while you are swiping your credit card, be careful. They could be taking a picture of it to replicate it later. 16. Slow Change Common throughout Europe, the cashier will sometimes count your change back to you very slowly, hoping that you lose patience and accept whatever they give you. Of course, it's usually less than what you should be receiving. 15. The Rushed Taxi Driver Popular in Las Vegas, taxi drivers will sometimes seem in a rush when dropping you off. They'll help you get all your baggage out and then take off in a hurry. What you didn't realize is that one of your smaller, and probably more important bags, is still in the car. 14. The Discarded Wallet Remember the helpful pickpocket and how his friend checked where your wallet is? Well, this is the same concept, except this time the pickpockets will leave an empty wallet on the ground. Your natural reaction will be to check where your own wallet is, and of course, they're watching you. 13. Dropped and Swapped Oftentimes in Asia, vendors or taxi drivers will drop your change and pick up some similar looking but comparatively worthless coins. You're a foreigner, though, and probably won't be able to tell the difference. 12. The Overnight Bus Be careful when taking cheap overnight bus transport in Southeast Asia. While you're sleeping in your seat, someone may be rummaging through your luggage. 11. An Unfortunate Flat A popular scam in Latin America is for a group of kids to flatten your tire, offer to help you fix it, and then steal your things in the process. 10. Fake Tickets While in Paris and London, you may be pleasantly surprised to find an official 
walking up to you in line and offering you a special, slightly higher price on some tickets that will let you skip the rest of the queue. However, those tickets are probably worthless. 9. The Kind Photographer Sometimes in Europe, when someone offers to take your picture, be careful. They may ask for some compensation, or even run off with your camera. 8. The Shoe Shiner Vendors will sometimes offer to shine your shoes for free to demonstrate their products. They will then proceed to shine only one of your shoes. You have to buy their goods if you want to shine the other one. 7. The Old Woman Known to happen in India and Southern Europe, an older lady may try any number of things in order to grab your hand. She will then proceed to read you your fortune and demand payment. If you don't, prepare to be cursed loudly. 6. The Street Performer Street performers will call for volunteers from the audience to play a rigged game against them. The volunteer will win because they are actually in with the performer. You'll eventually start to think you can win too, and a third person may actually suggest you try playing. Just remember that no matter how many times you play, you will lose. 5. The Postcard Another to watch out for in Rome, a small child will walk up to you and ask for help in writing a postcard home. They will then proceed to tell you a long story about their poverty and guilt you into giving them money. 4. Not so free massages. Common in the Caribbean, someone will come up and offer you a massage. Even if you reject though, they may start giving you a small sample. Afterwards, even if you say no again, they may insist on payment. 3. The expensive taxi. Sometimes taxi drivers will take advantage of the fact that you don't know your way around by taking much longer and more expensive routes. If possible, Try alternatives like Uber. This way, you know you're not being ripped off because GPS can track the best route. 2. The Music Artist Common in New York City, someone will approach you with their new music CD and tell you that you would be doing them a huge favor if you took the CD back home and distributed it in your city. As soon as you take the CD, the artist will most likely ask for payment. 1. The Cleaner Overwhelmingly popular in Latin America, someone will subtly spill or stick something on your clothing and then point it out to you. They will offer to clean it and then either pickpocket you or demand payment. Or both. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.